actually back again. I am the Beatle, and the title of this show is Jalen Hurts should be Eagles starting quarterback now. That's right. <laughs> Jalen Hurts should be Eagles QB now and in the future. I, I just added that on. Now and in the future. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jalen Hurts, my boy, Jalen Hurts, <laughs> rookie, has been sitting the bench all season long, and now, they even, they lost the game yesterday, but did you see the performance of Jalen Hurts? That's right, did you see the performance of Jalen Hurts? Tell me about it. So, <laughs> this is the, yes, this is Football 101, and I'm going to tell it like it is, because we're, we, again, what I saw in that game against the Arizona Cardinals was phenomenal. And we know last week, when he took it to the Saints, they beat the Saints. <laughs> so, Jalen Hurts should be Eagles quarterback now and in the future. Enough. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about why there needs to be a changing of the guard. Changing of the guard in Philly. Yes, in Philly. And I love the Philly fans because you're so fanatical. You're in the face. Philly fans bringing it. Fly, Eagle, fly. <laughs> yes, I love Philly. I love Philly. When I visit Philly, I walk the streets of Philly. I love the Philly fans. But it's time to change the tradition. Fly, Eagle, fly. And it's time to get around my boy, <laughs> Jalen Hurts. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I know it's tough to wrap yourself around. Let me get into the... Now, I, I'm, let, let's do a deeper dive. Now it's time to do a deeper dive of this issue that's happening in Philly. Because I know it's, it's just crazy in Philly right now. It's crazy. It's crazy in Philly. But guess what? It was nice to see Jalen Hurts go against <laughs> go against the Cardinals yesterday. And, and Murray, two Oklahoma quarterbacks. <laughs> and, and I just saw on, oh, I'm going to give a little love again to, to Good Morning Football. Because Jalen Hurts and Kyle Murray got together at the end of the game and took a, a special photo together because <laughs> they are Oklahoma quarterbacks. Also, <laughs> uh, what are they? <laughs> Heisman Trophy winners. And come on. Come on. And Jalen's been nice and saying all the nice, right things in the media. Because, you know, Jalen was in Alabama first. In Bama. As a college star, was in Bama. Won a national championship with Bama. And then got benched when 2A came on board. <laughs> got benched <laughs> when 2A came aboard. Transferred out because he knew his chances were no longer with Bama. Transferred out with the transfer, transfer portal. Ended at Oklahoma. Started at Oklahoma. Did an exceptional job in Oklahoma. And now, with the Eagles, and sat the bench all season long, even though, even though we knew that he should have at least been competitive at the quarterback, even though the Eagles have Mr. Carson Wentz. Hello, Mr. Carson Wentz. With the mega contract, their so-called superstar quarterback. Yes, they won a, a Super Bowl a few years ago, but it wasn't because of Carson Wentz. It was Nick Foles who won that that Super Bowl. Don't forget that. Yes, Carson during that year played well, but it was Nick Foles who won <laughs> who won that Eagles Super Bowl against the against the Patriots. Just a couple of years ago. But now Carson Wentz, let me just say, his days are over. 
I know, oh, oh, Philly fans, I know it's so hard to come to grips with, but what is so, let me just get, like I said, deeper dive, what is so sad is that the head coach of Philly, Doug Peterson, how he is playing this, how he is this playing this in the media and playing this to the Philly fans. Doug Peterson, the head coach of the Eagles, after the game, said he will look at the tape and determine whether Jalen Hurts should start the rest of the season. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, Philly fans. You know, you can't take this from Doug Peterson. You can't take this from your head coach. A, a, a call Doug Peterson. Will the Philly fans call out Doug Peterson? I'm not, again, I'm not a Philly fan. I love Philadelphia. I love all what, how much I, when I get there, I just love Philly fans. I love the environment. I love downtown. I walk downtown. I love all the arts. I love Philly. I love the flavor of Philly. But come on. I know you bring it. Tell Doug Peterson and the Eagle organization that you're on board with Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts should be the starting quarterback now and in the future. I know you bring it. Tell it like it is. Doug Peterson, you're making a mistake and you are ruining the culture of that team. It's really come down to the team. And it's obvious, it's obvious from the game yesterday in the Cardinals. Man, Jalen Hurts, he was doing it. He was throwing the ball right and left. He was getting out of the pocket. He was making TD plays. He made TD runs, running through tacklers, running through Bubba, Bubba Baker on that one TD against the Cardinals, drug him five yards and got the touchdown. Come on. Change of Eagle tradition. Fly, Eagle, fly. Needs to fly with Jalen Hurts. <laughs> and and you, you see Jalen Hurts post-game conference being so nice and politically correct. That's what he's learned by going through Alabama, through Oklahoma, and particularly how, he was, how he's raised by his parents. Jalen Hurts is such a professional athlete, such a professional uh, human being, such a nice uh, gentleman. But you can just tell he's ready to move on to the next level and establish himself. And the players around Jalen Hurts play better as opposed to Carson Wentz. <laughs> Now, Carson, your, your days, are, when you know your days are numbered, even though you got the mega contract, they're going to have they're going to have to make a major decision in the offseason with Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts. You got to come clean. But at least right now, Doug Peterson, the head coach, should give Jalen Hurts the rest of the season. Only two more games, only two more games to show what he can do. And then make your decision in the offseason. But, but man up and just give Jalen Hurts the starting quarterback job right now. Because Carson Wentz was not getting it done whatsoever. Yes, Carson Wentz was not getting it done whatsoever. And the players around him were not playing with the same intensity. But as soon as Jalen Hurts get in there, wow, <laughs> their defense plays better. Wow, their offense plays better. Wow. <laughs> and Doug Peterson, what is the deal? I mean, when I saw that press, press conference again, it, it's like he's been doing this all season long. But right now, he's saying the same stuff. Come on. I'm calling out Doug Peterson, the head coach for the Eagles. Because I like, I really enjoy looking at the field. I'm a Philly fan. I'm I'm not even from Philadelphia. I'm not from Pennsylvania. But when I visit Phil Philadelphia, I bought in to the fly, eagle fly, fly, eagle fly. <laughs> 
Yes, I, I bought into the culture of Philly and all the suburbs of Philly. Oh, just love the suburbs. Love the, no, the neighborhoods of Philadelphia. Connect with the uh, the neighborhood and the people and the culture. of. I can understand your attitude and feeling. You don't take it. You don't take it. It's, it's an underdog mentality. And I'm not going to bring up the Rocky stuff, but it's just part of the Philly tradition. You got to have an attitude. You got to say, we're going to take this on. We're going to beat the bigger guys. We're going to beat the name folks because we are Philadelphia. So Philly fans, Philly fans really call out. Please call out Doug Peterson, your head coach, and tell him to get his act together. Because guess what? Jalen Hurts is the man. Jalen Hurts should be the Eagles' QB now and in the future. So this is a shout-out to all the Philly fans. Yes, I'm a Buccaneer fan. You can see, <laughs> you can see in my hat, I'm a Buccaneer fan. <laughs> but I'm also, <laughs> I'm also a Jalen Hurts Philly fan. <laughs> so I like, I love Philly, but I'm also a Jalen Hurts fan. And give props to when an athlete brings it, and he's just a rookie. Come on, he's just a rookie playing at an elite level. Come on, Doug Peterson. Call it for what it is. The brother's talented. He's bringing it. He's showcasing a potential superstar talent. And it's time for you to be real, Doug Peterson. Hey, coach, get on board. Because otherwise, guess what, Doug? <laughs> and the owner, let me just say the owner is really nice. He's, he's a great owner of Philadelphia. I, I know him. I see him time and time. Great owner. And uh, again, the owner was only go so far. Okay, come on. <laughs> the owner will go so far. Make a decision. Stick with it. That's the Philly way. Okay, that's the the Philly way is not to be. Oh, I don't know. Or waffling back and forth. The Philly way is to make a decision and move on. Yeah, fly. Eagle fly. Jalen Hurts should be quarterback now and in the future. This is Football 101. Giving a shout out to Jalen Hurts. Giving a shout out to all the Philly fans. Your future is bright. But it's time for your head coach to step up. And, <laughs> and be real. So someone's, I don't know who's making these. It must be the G, uh, GM or someone else is trying to uh, negotiate a deal. I don't know what's going behind the scenes. And I'm not there in Philly, but something else is going on why the head coach is not saying that Jalen Hurts should be number one quarterback. It's all, it's coming down. What I'm, what this is really coming down to, let's, let, let's be real. It's coming down to money. It's coming down to money. They invested a lot of money. Into Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz <laughs> invested a lot of money, big time money, into Carson Wentz. And now, <laughs> here comes Jalen Hurts. <laughs> Fresh young rookie. <laughs> Superstar. What do you do with Carson Wentz and the money that you invested into Carson? Make a decision. Are you going to satisfy, uh-oh, are you going to satisfy Philly fans? Are you going to satisfy the players? Or are you going to satisfy the people <laughs> who are making the money decisions, the management? Mm, wow, now it really comes out. Doug Peterson is protecting the money, folks, the accountants of Philadelphia, <laughs> of the Philly <laughs> Eagles organization. It's, the, it's coming down to metrics. It's coming down to those issues. It's coming down to the big books. But Doug Peterson, you better step up soon because you're going to lose the team completely. This is Football 101. I'm telling it like it is. That was a deeper dive into Jalen Hurts. Should be Eagles quarterback now and in the future. We out, y'all. <laughs> Tell him like it is. <laughs> See ya.